This is Max Ma Hedrum. And what you're about to witness is one of the most sinister sounding intros to a trailer to one of the greatest epics ever produced in the history of te television. And there's more. Because you are going to see it as well. And thanks for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. You're subscribed. And ring that bell for notifications. So the next time premiere video, you can meet a live chat with everyone else. And leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Now let's head on back to Michigan where a sovereign citizen who's already claimed to have a national passport and an IDP turns out they were fraudulent as Judge Middleton said they would be. Good afternoon, sir. Are you Kirk Edwin Jensen? Yes, I have documents in here that I just filed with the clerk and I need to submit them here. Is that this thing called non-statutory abatement? That's it. All right, I got it. I provided a copy to Ms. Davis. Um, it's entitled Kirk Edwin Jensen, Reign Citizen, Reign of Heavens, a set of heart place where that address. Non-statutory abatement. Um, file number 23660ST charges operating with no license. Charge 23661 charge with operating with no license in your possession. I don't think you can be convicted of both of those, as I said at our arraignment. And then the third count is a civil infraction. No proof of insurance could probably be charged as no insurance, but it was charged as a civil infraction. I have the proof of that here. Of that here. May I see it? All right. That's the person that owned the car. Correct. Yep. All right. Uh, let Debbie see that. All right. Uh, we had kind of a chase our tails around at the time of the arraignment. Um, you are, what do you wish to be, a rain citizen? The, I have a, um, I have a social compact and a body politic, which gives the authority for the credentials that I had when I had given them to Mr. Brooks at the time. Um, the, and the officer that wrote the ticket. Right. Um, you had said that you were going to try to get those from him and uh, see them for yourself. Yeah, I don't know whether I got Ms. Davis got that or not. We did get additional information from the um, agency in Detroit regarding passports, and they confirmed that they are fraudulent. So if this doesn't get resolved today with the plea as charged to these misdemeanors, then we will be amending to have felony charges. All right, fair enough. Um, people call themselves different things. The common vernacular term has become sovereign citizen. And I do not claim that in any way, way shape, or form. All right. I rebut that. I completely rebut that statement. All right. Well, I don't, I try to think of a term for it. Well, well the, you, just a minute. Ahead, okay. Let me get my thoughts together here. I We had a guy, Mr. Aiken, a couple of weeks ago, and we went round and round with him, and he wanted a jury trial, and he didn't show up, and then he was found in contempt, and he went to jail. And, and I said, well, how about willfully misinformed defendant? That's too cumbersome, or willfully ignorant defendant. And then I was laying in bed between then and now, and I thought, follow me here, Mimsy were the borough groves. It's like, what the heck does that mean? Um, it's from the poem Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. It was written in the 1800s. It's a nonsense poem that doesn't mean anything. And more importantly, there was a science fiction story written maybe during the war called Mimsy Were the Boro Groves. Uh, it's a very interesting story about some toys that were sent from the future back to here. It's pretty 
relevant right now with cell phones. And um, the third line is Mimsy, where the boro grows. And what is a boro grove? It, it doesn't make any sense. So my term for these people that come in with this kind of nonsensical jabberwocky is going to be boro groves. So this is boro grove. Uh, it doesn't mean anything, and neither do your pleadings. Uh, this non-statutory abatement and all this stuff about self-claimed contracts and Exhibit B and C has no lawful effect. Um, so the question I have here is, um, do you wish to have a trial on these matters or do you wish to enter a plea to this? Um, so did, does the body politic and social compact, uh, is that being disregarded? Correct. Okay. Uh, then I'll go with the trial. All right. Then I will. Do you want to have an attorney to assist you? No. All right. You sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. The prosecutor is going to charge you with some sort of felony charge. What charge did you have in mind, Ms. Davis? I believe that Prosecutor Morgan looked it up and it was um, fraudulent documentation, basically manufacturing fraudulent passport and a fraudulent license. We talked about Conk Republic passports. Uh, whatever you had and this false passport and some claim that somehow you had an international driver's license, you have to have a driver's license from somewhere to have an international driver's license. Right. This, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I had that too. I had that too. Yes. All right. Well, one last question. Um, the, the documents that were taken by Mr. Brooks, um, I want to make sure that those are entered in as evidence when the time comes. Do you have those, Deborah? I do not have physical possession of them. I, as all evidence, it's held by the Sheriff's Department and the evidence lockers. So certainly we would introduce those as exhibits. All right. Well, you're always polite enough, but you're... I stand this, for... Well, this, it's stand the problem with this here. is... This is insidiously dangerous. People decide on their own that the rules don't apply to them. And even though they're polite and respectful, you're yanking my chain. And this is a waste of our court's time and Miss Davis's time. I intend to prove that All these right. things are correct. All right. Maybe you do, but they aren't. This stuff is meaningless. And if everybody decided like you that they don't need a driver's license and they don't participate in our social contract and they wish to use our public roadways and our street lights and our court system, but hey, it doesn't apply to me, things would break down. The rule of law would cease to exist. So it's polite, but it's insidious and it's dangerous. Uh, What's next? I don't have the social contact, so I can punch somebody in the nose. I can kill somebody. I can sell drugs. The rules don't apply to me uh, because I'm a RAIN citizen. Well, it don't work that way, at least not here in Michigan or in St. Joe County. Same rules apply to you that apply to everybody else. And you're going to get charged with a felony document fraud case. So I'm going to set this for, do you want a bench trial or a jury trial? Jury. Yeah, the same thing. It's hypocritical. The rules don't apply to you, but you don't mind bringing in 30 of your citizens to come in and hear it. It's going to be stuff. just me. It's just going to be just me. Uh, I'm going to set for a jury trial. Your Honor, if we amend it, obviously. I understand. Valid, we'll I just want a target you know. date. Sure. For August 16. If prosecutor amends to felony, we'll schedule a pre exam.
Mimsy, where the boro grows. That's what this amounts to. Twas brilling on the slithy ties. Uh, it, it's a bunch of nonsense. And uh, so, Mr. Boro Grove, I will see you on a August 16th at 8.30. Ron, just to clarify a few things uh, in anticipation of that. Uh, as far as service, Mr. Jensen, will you accept service at the email that you have on this non-statutory abatement? Correct, yes. Okay, so just one of the clarification that uh, I'm going to send a witness list to him, make sure that he has the supplemental report from... Yeah, there the is one Steers. thing that it does have some merit in here. He asked for discovery, and he's entitled to that. So, yes, this your dis your request for discovery is honored, and the prosecution will provide all discovery to the defendant. Yes, so we'll be providing that to the email that's listed at, um, on this document that was filed today. And what email will I will I use to respond? Yours would the email that it comes from, which okay. is prls. Okay. At, St. Joseph County and my dad will work. Uh, as far as witnesses, the people would intend to call Deputy Kevin Brooks, Detective Sergeant Brian Steers, Chris Catoni, or Catone from the TSA, and James Herdman, Special Agent, Diplomatic Security Service from the Detroit office. Will all that be included with the email? Yes, I will do a written, a written witness list. So What's that, that officer's name? Uh, the last one, James Herdman, H-E-R-D-M-A-N. And then potentially this um, Cheryl Pulaski. The owner of the car? Yes. I don't believe they're... There might have been another backup officer. Let me double check. I don't know if we'll need him, but. Even though you have these mistaken beliefs, what's your objection to having an attorney to help you with this? Uh, I, I do not choose to have anyone, any bar or associates representing me. All right. If it is not charged as a felony, in the meantime, you're to be here August 16th at 8.30. Okay. And uh, do you have any witnesses that you wish to call? Um, potentially the owner of the car. I'm not sure at this point, but that would be one potential minimum. Uh, other witnesses, minute, would they be available? One precaution, the owner of the car might have a Fifth Amendment right not to testify. Mm -hmm. If they're allowing you to drive the car without an operator's license, that could be a misdemeanor in and of itself. So that's something to consider. But uh, we'll address it further. We'll see what Mr. Marvin and Ms. Davis elect to do with this. For further witnesses, would Zoom be available? No, they would be here live and in person. Okay. Uh, all right. Any questions? All right. You're free to go. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> <Porbus unum. laughs> and thanks for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. You're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. So the next time I premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And a huge shout out to our channel members, Robert Morley, Andy, Chris Kelling, Goddess of Truth, Grenda Less Rage, Pat's Cats, Pedro Guacamole, Sean Oldfart, CW1960, Drew B, and Butcher Bird. If you'd like to become a member, just click on the link in the description or click on join right next to subscribe. And if you're still hanging around, why not hit that subscribe button? Yeah, you might like it. Hit the thumbs up and hit the thanks button if you'd like to support the channel. Until next time, Buonishi. Thank you. I'll see you soon.